All right. Online, you cannot find what the inside of a General Motors 10SI, uh, 12SI voltage regulator looks like. That's the heat sink plate. I disassembled it and I cleaned all the potting material out. And let me turn it around make it a little easier to see. I'll point out a few things. All right, this right here, I had a problem with this. I had, my voltage was flickering at like 14 and a half, going to 15 and a half. So one of these components is faulty, and I'm just going to desolder the faulty one and solder in a new one, and I should be good to go. This is a transistor right here. If you, you can see right on here, they solder the tab to the board, and the whole board is glued down to the heatsink plate. The middle tab is not connected because the, I mean, the middle pin is not connected because the tab is the same, uh, same, same as this. The middle lead here is the same as the tab, so that's why they cut that off because they soldered that to the board. And two leads connected here. That's an MJD44H11. That's an NPN transistor. Uh, this is just a regular 4005 or a 4007 diode. You have a couple little capacitors in here. You have a couple of transistors. You have one here, which is a NPN, and then you have another one here, which is a PNP. And you have this down here is a Zener diode. It's a 6.2 volt. It says E4 on it. And ca capacitor here. So it's a fairly simple circuit. Not too much to go wrong. So I'm just going to put my component tester on each one of these. The capacitors are likely nothing wrong with them. And the diode is probably fine. Um, more than likely the Zaner's bad, or one of the tra uh, two transistors, or the big one. So I'm just going to put my uh, component tester and check it out. Change the component, put the cover back on, I'll be good to go. But now you can see with the inside of our voltage regulator on a 10SI and 12SI looks like.